Hello everyone, welcome to Pinnacle Math Mania. My name is Captain Is123 and today we will be working on proper fractions, improper fractions and mixed numbers. Lisa was having a birthday party with all of her friends and they had three pizzas and two breadsticks to share around. Each pizza was cut into eight slices. Lisa opened the first box and her friends ate seven slices in five minutes. This means that 7 eighths of the pizza was eaten. 7 eighths is what we call a proper fraction. A proper fraction is a fraction with the numerator smaller than its denominator. 7 is smaller than 8. A proper fraction is always less than a whole. In this case, there is still one slice of pizza left in the box. Therefore, 7 eighths is a proper fraction. But what happens if the numerator is bigger? Well, if the numerator is bigger than the denominator, we call that an improper fraction. Having an improper fraction means having one or more holes that have been divided into equal parts. Let's go back to Lisa for another example. Lisa and her friends had already eaten seven slices from the first pizza. Lisa and her friends came back and ate seven more slices. Firstly, how many slices in total have they had? 14. Great job! Now, if 14 slices have been eaten, the fraction that represents the total number of slices eaten would be 14 eighths. 14 eighths is an improper fraction as the numerator is larger than its denominator. Since there are 8 pieces in a whole pizza, the improper fraction 14 eighths means one whole pizza of 8 parts and 6 extra parts of a second pizza. These improper fractions can also be seen from a number line. For example, above we can see two breadsticks over the number line cut into quarters. Lisa and her friends had taken seven pieces of the breadsticks. As we can see, seven quarters is the fraction of breadsticks that were taken, which means that one whole of a breadstick was eaten, which is four pieces, and three extra parts of another breadstick was eaten. Therefore, the improper fraction of breadsticks eaten is 7 quarters. Before I close off this lesson, I must make mention of mixed numbers. Lisa's mom came outside to check on the party and asked Lisa how much of the breadsticks they had eaten. Lisa responded, Mom, we had 7 quarters of the breadsticks. But Lisa's mom asked, So how many breadsticks is that? What she was really asking, is what is 7 quarters as a mixed number instead of an improper fraction. A mixed number is just an improper fraction but changed to show the number of holes and parts represented by the fraction. For example, 9 quarters means 2 holes of 4 quarters and 1 part of a hole or 1 quarter. If a mixed number is just the number of holes plus the remaining parts as a fraction, the 9 quarters as a mixed number would look like 2 holes and 1 quarter. So what mixed number would Lisa tell her mom if they ate 7 quarters of the breadsticks? 1 and 3 quarter. Did you get it? Great job! Thank you for visiting Math City today. Try the exercises on Pinnacle.com to earn points and win great prizes.